Hello everyone, my name is Bashar. In this research, we investigate how to use GAN or Generative Adversarial Network for detecting anomalies in time series data when the data set is small. An anomaly detection system can monitor smart buildings, factories, power plants, data centers, and many other critical environments. Anomaly detection system provides us the opportunity to take actions to investigate and resolve underlying issues before they can cause disaster. Current anomaly detection system can be divided into mainly two categories, uh, traditional models and deep learning based models. Traditional models are Gaussian mixer model, isolation forest, one class support vector machine, and so on. Our experiments show that deep learning based models can easily beat these models. Currently, deep learning models are gaining popularity because of their promising performance. Commonly used deep learning models are autoencoder, encoder decoder, LSTM, and other models. Latest development in deep learning models is GAN based models. However, majority of the GAN based models are applied in image domain. Usually, neural network based models require large datasets for setting their large number of parameters. One existing research reported the effectiveness of GAN based models in large time series datasets. For example, they used two large time series datasets, each with 1 million data points. We propose an innovative GAN-based model to detect anomalies in small datasets. Our model is named TanoGAN. It uses a different and effective architecture than existing models for detecting anomalies in time series data when the datasets have a small number of data points. The feasibility of using GAN for detecting anomalies in small time series datasets will open the opportunity of using GAN in many application domains. Our model TanoGAN has two parts. The first part learn the underlying data distribution using a generator G and a discriminator D in an adversarial setting. In the second part, the real data is mapped to the latent space using inverse mapping. Then the latent space is used to reconstruct the real data. Then the difference between the reconstructed data and the real data is used to identify anomalies. This figure shows how anomaly is detected by our proposed TanoGAN model. The blue line in the first figure shows the anomaly scores. The green line shows the ground truth anomaly values. And the orange line shows the threshold level. When you compare the anomaly scores, we can see that there are four peaks that go beyond the threshold level. When you compare these four peaks with the ground truth, we can see that there are two true positive and two false positive. In the second figure, the blue line shows the original time series data. The orange line shows the ground truth anomalies and the dot points show the identified anomalies. Even though there are two false positive, when we closely analyze them, we can see that these two points are quite different than the general data distribution. To address the small dataset problem, we have investigated a variety of architecture for generator and discriminator. We observed that if the discriminator uses a very large network, then it easily overfit to the data. On the other hand, if we use a small network for generator, it cannot generate realistic data that can pull the discriminator. Therefore, we propose to use a shallow, small network for discriminator and a medium depth uh, network for generator when the data set is small. We also observed that to effectively frame the generator on small data set, we need to start LSTM layers with a small number of hidden units, then progressively increase the number of hidden units in the subsequent layers. Based on the experimental results, we use three LSTM layers for our generator model. And the first layer uses 32 hidden units. Second layer uses 64 hidden units. And the third layer uses 128 hidden units. And for the discriminator, we use a single LSTM layer with 100 hidden units. We have evaluated our TanoGAN models with the diverse 46 time series datasets. These datasets are collected from NAB benchmark data collection. 
they cover a variety of domains. The datasets have data points ranging from 1000 to 22,000 something. We compare our Tanogan model against eight existing models. These models are MADGAN, Autoencoder, Vanilla LSTM, Isolation Forest, Gaussian Mixer model, one class SVM, bidirectional LSTM in GAN setting, and CNN in GAN setting. This figure shows the cumulative ranking of the models for 46 datasets for various measures. We can see that for all the measures except recall, Tenogen performs better than other models. For recall, Gaussian mixer model gives marginally better result than our Tenogen model. However, when we look at the precision, we can see that our Tenogen model gives significantly better precision than the Gaussian mixer model. This means Gaussian mixer model provides a lot of false positive. Higher recall is desirable in anomaly detection, but false positive increases monitoring cost because we need to check a lot of false alarm. That means we need a model that has both higher precision and recall, not just higher recall. Higher precision and recall is indicated by high F1 score and our model Tanogan gives a high F1 score. Here we show the pairwise comparison between our Tanogan model and other models. Each dot in this figure represent a dataset. A dot in the blue shade means our model performed better than the counterpart model. This figure shows that in most of the datasets, our model perform better than other models. This figure analyzes the sensitivity of our proposed model with dataset size and the domain of the dataset. Each point in this figure shows a dataset. The vertical axis shows the size of the dataset. The horizontal axis shows how many models are beaten by our proposed Tenogan model. And the color, each color of the point represent the membership of the dataset to a specific domain. This figure shows that when the dataset size is larger than 5000 data points, our model always beat majority of the models. When the dataset size is lower than 5000 data points, for most of the dataset, our model beats majority, majority models, but for some dataset, our model performs a bit poorly. This means there are room for improvement when the dataset size is less than 5000 points. This figure shows critical difference diagram. A smaller score in this diagram means better. We can see that our model Tanogan has smallest critical difference score for all the measures except recall. The recall of Gaussian mixer model, our proposed model Tanogan, Gaussian mixer model, and the MADGAN has a similar recall value. However, when we look at F1 score, we can see that our Tanogan has much lower critical difference score. This means our Tanogan is good for both recall and precision, not just recall. Our experiment shows that data distribution learned by generative model can isolate anomalies from the normal data. Gaussian mixer model is well known for learning complicated data distribution. Our proposed Tanogan model gives better result than Gaussian mixer model. That means our proposed Tanogan model can learn complicated data distribution. Tanogan uses LSTM layer. The decoder part of autoencoder uses LSTM layer as well. Also, the vanilla LSTM uses LSTM. Our Tanogan model gives better result than vanilla LSTM and autoencoder. Uh, this is because our Tanogan is trained in an adversarial setting. MADGAN by LSTM GAN and CNN GAN has a similar architecture as our Tanogan. However, our Tanogan model uses progressively larger number of hidden units in the generator part. And this allows our Tanogan learn underlying distribution more effectively when the dataset is small. In this research, we have proposed an innovative 
model called Tanovian for detecting anomalies in time series data when the data set is small. We show that using progressively higher number of hidden units in the LSTM layer of generator is an effective way to train GAN based model on a small data set. We show that adversarial training can improve model performance. We evaluate Tanogen on 46 time series datasets collected from NAB benchmark that cover a variety of domains. We show that Tanogen performs better than traditional and neural network models. Thank you.